depending on the VPN you subscribe to, it may vary how they distribute or how they make available the uh, uh, OVPN files or open VPN files. In my case, for example, that we're trying to do a ASUS RT AC87 R, my VPN provider doesn't have it. I mean, I have another uh, ASUS, but the point of this whole video is to set it up on a router that's not listed here on my VPN's uh, supported routers. They have AC87U, but not R. In this case, you have to do it what's called manual. And manual, I will leave a link on the description if you happen to have ExpressVPN. And maybe I'll leave a link too. So I think if you download the ExpressVPN through that link, you get a month, I get a month. Not affiliated with ExpressVPN, by the way. And when you are at the manual configuration for ASUS router, your router might be a different router. And you can check the uh, a listing that they have if they have your router or a similar router to yours from the same brand. And as you see here, it says download the config files. They will give you a username and password to enter. We'll see in a second on the router itself. As you see here, I will uh, probably blur my username and password. They give you this encrypted style username and password to enter in your router. And then down here, you select the file that wherever you want to put it. And uh, I'm just going to go with a Miami, let's say here, for example, let me open it up. It will go to download this file and that's the OVPN file. You save Miami right there. And let's go to the folder and check if it has the certificates inside. Right click and we have to open it with a text. If we can do that, click open with look for apps. Uh, WordPad would be good enough. And here you have the remote random. It has the keys and all that stuff inside. And you have the certificates. So you don't need to upload the keys and certificates uh, separately. And regarding that key size that you saw there, it, if it gives you that error, here's the line that you're talking that they're talking about. It doesn't really affect your router from connecting to VPN or no or all that you could either remove this line or instead of that in front of this line you just add a hashtag key size 256 and then you just go and click save and that is it and then you are ready to put these files uh, into the router as we will see in a second okay so now when you sign in inside your router in this case the asus uh it's either router.asus.com or 192.168.1.1 and the default uh username and password is admin admin if you did not change those when you're inside here you go to vpn and here instead of doing anything here you go to vpn client at the vpn client you put add profile when you're inside adding the profile go to open vpn not l2tp or pptp in here you describe what do you what is your uh, vpn details for example in the first the first file that i'm going to put is going to be the miami location and it's going to be express vpn miami one because there's two a uh, username and password are going to be the ones i told you before provided here by the uh our vpn and I'm going to copy the username and paste it. I'm going to copy the password and paste it. And then we're going to choose a file. And the file we're going to use is going to be the files we downloaded here from our uh, ExpressVPN site. And here's uh, Miami right here. I click open and it says uh, already uh, in the file directory as you see the name here then you have to click uh upload sorry I, I took it out you click upload and wait for it to complete as you see now it's complete now hit okay and in order to activate it you have to click activate here sometimes it doesn't work right away sometimes you just have to wait for this status here on my case somehow it went through right away it's not always the case 
So be prepared to try it a few times. And now let's see our IP if it uh, has changed. Let's go to what is my IP as you see right now. I'm going to click right here and waiting for the IP to show up. And our IP right now is in Miami, Florida. Now, let me go here just to make it a little bit uh, more interesting. And let me just grab an IP that's outside uh, US. Let's go in Europe and let me grab Germany. I'm going to download Germany right here and we will go back to Asus again. And here you can add another profile. You have to go to open VPN and then you describe. I'm just going to put uh, Germany Frankfurt and I'm going to put my username and password again. And here's the password and I'm going to choose the file now that we downloaded is going to be Germany Frankfurt. Click open, hit upload, wait for it to be uploaded in the system. Hit OK. And now I'm going to connect to Germany instead of Miami. Activate and just wait for it i forgot to deactivate the first one so you're supposed to deactivate that one but it's okay you get the point and as you see we got the check mark right here that says we are connected now let's do an ip test again let me reload this page as it is and right now we are in frankfurt germany as you see it is that easy the hardest part is to figure out how to get your open vpn files from your vpn provider and in that case i would say your best bet if you can't just find them by googling or what because you might have a different vpn provider not expressvpn you can just simply go and uh ask their uh representatives either via chat or via email or however you communicate with them and usually it's pretty easy for them to get those files to you and in my case yes i have a few asus routers and i truly like them they have so much stuff and you want to make it kind of bulletproof router go to your ipv6 so because ipv4 is what we covered if you want to make sure your ipv6 doesn't get leaked you disable this one and know that whole thing that a lot of people say ipv6 makes your internet faster than ipv4 uh, that's not exactly true your uh, internet connection is exactly whatever you get from your isp bottlenecks sometimes can be bypassed by vpn but it's very rare but ipv6 in my opinion should be disabled and with that said i don't think we have more to talk about except just keep in mind when you're from the network map right here on the open page you go to your vpn click uh click vpn client and you are inside the vpn files or locations that you want to put here and in my case i'm gonna put more I'm going to just get a few more uh, countries and states and just I just want to have them all here. And in your case, you choose your favorite states and go ahead and do just that. And yes, my router again is the Asus RT-AC87R. And this is how you configure VPN in your router that is not supported directly with the uh, files to flash it from your VPN provider. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give me a thumbs up and a like and share it with whoever you think needs to see this video. And yes, it works in most Asus uh, routers. With that said, bye.